everybody and welcome back uh, to the Crimson Furry Estate. Ba -da -da -ba -da -da -bum -bum. Alrighty, you already know what time it is. It's time to go to the courtyard. So, there is something I was kind of thinking about. The hood, right? Well, to be fair, we're always thinking about her. I thought that she would make for a very good dark brood character. And my reasoning for that is because in her lore, well, she eats someone. And my thinking is, okay, well, <laughs> that sounds like an insatiable craving for food, if I've ever heard one. So, obviously, I made her a dark brood. I figured that it was very lore appropriate for her. However, this... Kept Suspicious Blood, more healing done, which doubles her healing, and more healing received. And the set bonus even gives you more healing when you're eating. However, uh, the immune to death by Crimson Curse part kind of tells me she wants to be a Crimson Cursed person. But to be fair, right, the hood was made before Darkspawn were even a thing. So... You know, seeing as the mod author isn't really around for the hood anymore, but we're not going to get into that. I think that the hood makes a better dark brood than she does a, um, a Crimson Cursed. That's just me. But, <laughs> you know, you're, you're welcome to disagree. Because, hey, it's not a be-all, end-all. At the end of the day, if you think she's a better Crimson Cursed, make her Crimson Cursed. So, we're going to be going after the Eroded Garden Guardian. I really, really, really want this trinket for the hood. We are so low on healers that, honestly, I will take anything that we can get. Even if we can get the trinket for the Crusader to become a little bit of a healer, a healer I would really like that. But, unfortunately, we haven't gotten too lucky in that respect. Stone is patient. But the tainted blood that gave it life can lead to outbursts of uncontrollable rage and power if the situation requires it. Ooh, how menacing. Okay, that's pretty sweet. Um, let's see, which way are we going? Up. Oh, it's definitely down. It is definitely down. Okay. Well, we bring Hazamel the Jiangshi with Diggs' head, which we're not going to talk about. Dismiss' his head, that one's perfectly fine to talk about. Necrotic Touch, Chi Drain, Horrific Song, and Frightful Leap. We then bring Lunistra the Phlebotomist with the Doctor's Gown, Bloody Feather, Bloodletting. A catalytic Injection, Emergency Treatment, and Purge Systems. Overall... <laughs> she only has one attack, but she just does. Like, these three moves are just so good. The Practitioner with the Serpentine Magatama, the Invigorating Feathers, Invoke and Enra, Cobb Mind, Thalassic Remedy, and Strike the Earth, just in case. And then we bring the Prefect, who has a Dazzling Charm and the Book of Intuition, with the Ruler, Disrupt TikTok, and in shroud overall should be a pretty good team but we gonna see 90 percent okay i was honestly kind of, i was like there was a part of me that was expecting not to hit it now this could be a person who's just trapped or it could be a secret room ha! artifact of false that's certainly not bad so which one so false is healing. Yes, I will absolutely take that. Wait, how much extra are we healing? Plus five, so it's seven to nine. Yeah, that's uh, that's a pretty good heal, and it cures bleed. <laughs> Dude, the practitioner is so good in the Crimson Court. Now, what's kind of funny is we actually deal with blights quite a bit in the Crimson Court, so. I don't think we have anyone that can deal with blights. It would certainly be nice. 
So this is going to be a super random conversation to start the episode off, but it's something that happened relatively recently. So I had someone message me on Discord, and, you know, that's not uncommon. People message me all the time, be it viewers, Randys, some of my buddies. You know, there's usually someone messaging me. However, this person was different, and I'm not going to name them, but uh, take it as a little bit of internet safety. So, this person messaged me, right? The usual, hi, how are you? You know, pretty average opener. Um, now, I couldn't help but notice, I don't have any shared servers with this person. I've never seen their name before. No one on my friends list is friends with them. And they're also not anyone that I recognize from the comments, from the Discord, from any other Discords. Nothing. They are like a completely brand new face to me. So, they open up by sending me a friend request. Which, you know, I'm, I'm usually kind of iffy on random friend requests anyway. But, you know, I go ahead and send them a message. I'm like, hi, who is this? And, you know, they're like didn't really give an answer which is already a bit of a uh, <laughs> weird thing to do but um basically tldr other than saying hi how are you oh they immediately went into a little bit of a spiel about you know i'm a struggling artist uh nobody really is looking for commissions so i was just wondering if you wanted to get a commission from me now there's a part of me that does want to say well you know if you're a struggling artist you're gonna look to random people for commissions you know you're gonna put yourself out there you're gonna advertise i you know that's expected however this person just kind of friended me out of the blue and I, you know, I sort of I, I took the roundabout way I was like oh well you know I'm uh, yeah I don't think I can afford it right now uh, maybe in the future but you know but can you send me some references and they did um, I looking at the pictures they didn't seem like the same artist had did all of them if that makes sense like it seemed like multiple different artists you know what i mean and then you know they sort of mentioned oh well you know if you're having financial issues missed a 90 percent if you're having financial issues you know i can always give a little bit of a discount which is very kind however i'm pretty sure it's a scammer um which I don't like thinking that, but internet safety 101, I wasn't, I didn't get on the internet yesterday. I sort of know to look for these things. And this kind of has every single red light under the sun. So, you know, just take this as a word of warning. If a random person you've never seen before friends you and gives you a sad story about, you know, they just, oh, that's another thing they said, they just lost their job. You know, nobody's taking commissions. You know, there's signs to look for that you're being scammed. That someone is just trying to get something financial out of you. And, you know, I, I do... There's that part of me that understands. You know, artists do have it rough. You know, a lot of the time, you really gotta lowball your prices in order to get a steady amount of people. But... <sighs> You know, it's also easy for people to masquerade as a struggling artist and just scam people. Because there's a bunch of people in the Discord. They're great artists. I mean, the same person who named the Fawn, Mizufer, does great art in the Discord. Kelana, who's been around for a decent while, does great art. You know, there's artists around who do great art. And while I would love to see them, you know, get what they're due for said art and it's hard sometimes you know maybe someone doesn't have money maybe someone doesn't even ask for financial gain but you know the the artist world is uh brutal at the best of times but you know i i 
just internet safety 101. Just be careful who you're talking to. Be careful about any sad stories that people give, because sometimes, not all the time, people are just trying to get something out of you. That, that's the TLDR. I know I, <laughs> I, I know I took way too long to get to that, but hey, you know, just something that was on my mind. That being said, we're actually almost at the boss. So my ramble has lasted uh, the entire dungeon. But what you gonna do? Oh boy. Okay, so <laughs> I want to bring this up real quick. This curio has like a 50-50 chance of just crashing the game. I looked on the actual page. Uh, the mod dev basically said it's just a chance. Um, sometimes it works perfectly fine. Sometimes it crashes the game. So, what do we think this is going to be? It worked. Sip and savor. There's no vintage like it. Don't mind if I do. Um, I do want to keep the torches. I guess get rid of the gold. Yeah, so this particular um interactable it's a little buggy it does work but it is a little bit on the buggy side that being said we actually got another secret room unfortunately we don't have a key for this one and we didn't get anything that we can really use awesome well what are you gonna do ha, you think you can take us you are just an overgrown bug torch Wah. even with the extra accuracy it's still just not good enough you're dead to bleed and you're stunned <laughs> I like that okay damsel in distress that's fine don't care won't care that kind of sucks don't stun or no, he can only stun, st stung? He can only stun when he's in big form. Okay, lower their accuracy even more. Oh, we're craving the blood. I must have the blood. There you go. I am the fury. Nice. <laughs> this little stone golem. Oh, you know what I should have done? Missed the min-max. Light the torch, take the gold, bam. Oh, that was dumb. Oh, well. What are you gonna do? It happens. The eroded guardian. Well, there's only one thing to... Uh, powering up. Let's see. I'm gonna go for TikTok. Right here. Okay. Breaks guard, I wonder. Oh, <laughs> that does work. That's insane. We're not going to debuff them. That's quite simply not going to happen. But we can certainly get a lot of damage down. And because he's eroded, ugh, he will be doing damage to himself every so often. Skywood shield. Unfortunately, he's not going to open up with any of them. But what are you going to do? Big damage. Hey, considering he has 50% protection, that's certainly not bad. Um, I'm gonna heal myself, get rid of the bleed, because we're probably about to get stunned. You know what? Just get get damage. That is not the move I meant to use, but oh well. Oh, might be a stun. Dang! I was oh, I was hoping we could resist. All right, that's okay. Beat the soil. Tiny bit of damage. Now, we don't want to get rid of both the shield and the blood found. Okay. Because if both are dead, the guardian basically enters in rage mode. Uh, how bad is this? Two over one? Meh. Let's get a little bit of a heal. We also reduce its max health. If we get rid of the shield but not the spear, that should be fine. I'm going to heal this. That way, bleed doesn't get too terribly out of control. Okay. Okay. Feed the soil. We're fine. We're fine. Everything is fine. We have one more round to make use of our damage, and it's just in time. Seven damage. Mm. Okay, full bad final turn. However, 
We do manage to roll a 10. Slowly but surely, we're whittling him down. I'm just going to go for a little bit of damage. Stack it up where we can. Let's see. Uh, you're not being guarded, so... Uh! One whole damage. You'll love to see it. Plummeting Doom. Potential double stun. Ooh. Nasty. And it was a shuffle. Get a double bleed. Ooh. Big oof. Let me see. Um. Ah, you can't cure stuns, huh? Alright. Fair enough. Let's TikTok on Hazamel. Then let's disrupt. That way we can try and get a little bit of damage in. I'm actually gonna shuffle. I, can I stun you? No. <laughs> no, I cannot. And that's fine. Our buff wears off. So, yeah, we're doing a lot less damage now. We could potentially purify ourselves and just heal up that way. Okay, feed the soil, stacking a little bit more bleed on us. Also doing some stress. That could potentially be a problem. Let's see. How bad is this? Two over two? Okay. We'll get rid of it. No shuffle. Oh, but did get a stun. Okay. Feed the soil. Okay, yeah, that stress is really... It's getting bad. You know, maybe not my best plan to just go for the... Uh, to just go for him. But we're in it now. Ugh. Get the blood pumping. Let's see. Um, we could stress heal. I actually, I don't think it'll... Do we have serenity? Yes, we do, actually. You know what? Let's take one turn, just a big stress heal. Try and set the clock back a little bit. We're already stunned. Uh, let's go for TikTok, so Hazamel will be able to go first next turn. Um, then we're going to go for Subversion, just to break that guard, do a tiny bit of damage. We're stunned. That's fine. Feed the soil. Nice miss. Okay, we can also cure with fish when the time comes. However, I am going to cure right now. So, this. More resolve XP. Holy... I forgot it did that. Oh, low roll. Okay. We've almost got him, even though <laughs> this could have went a little bit better. Okay, four damage. One good roll from Hazamel, and this fight is over. Feed the soil. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say. Bleed me, uh, whatever. You still managed to stun? Oh, we didn't have our stun resist anymore. Well, that kind of sucks, doesn't it? All right, I guess we're hitting the shield. Not many other options. You know? Yeah, that's probably a good time to use that. I think we enshroud the practitioner because he's just going to shuffle back this turn. Okay. Then we move back. Feed the soil! Ooh, two worse targets for us. It's certainly not looking good, is it? Ah! Bravery is a misleading term. Call it what it is. Suicide! Yes, plummeting doom. Too slow! Okay, well, you know what? There was, there was a good chance there. One final lecture. Be gone! Nice. <laughs> That's funny. Romeo for the Arbiter. More accuracy, more damage while virtued, and on attack hit, stress yourself out. But the set bonus is 100% virtue chance. Yeah, um, let me be the first to say, could have played that a bit better. Kind of forgot that Courtyard Plus changes how he works. So, oops. But, hey, it was a level 1 version, so... Mm. That could have been worse. 
We got uh, 17k gold. <laughs> Infirm. That's got to go. Natural. Mm, that's not great. Natural. Mm, that's not great. <clears throat> well. <coughs> really could have used that in the waifu crusade. Couldn't we have... By hateful curse or malign miracle, it seems even death may be defied in this place. Uh, issue, they're all level zero. <laughs> Betsy, Tardiff, and the Hood. I think I'm just gonna bring the Hood back and then just get rid of her. That way we have a little bit less people in the, um, you know, graveyard. Because, I, to be fair, most of them are just from setting up the estate. The only ones who are actually dead is Betsy, Vivosa, Retro, and Scratchy. Anyone new? I was kind of hoping we'd see Scratchy. Instead, we got three miscreants. Tough and Daredevil. Oh! Oh! That would have been so nice! Oh! And Daredevil. Oh! Whatever. Too late now. Attempting to ignore the uh, four overlapping songs... It is time for the bank. Yeah, uh, we sunk quite a bit of resources just to uh, get enough portraits to be able to get the bank. However, it's going to add up fast, especially because of how many characters we have that give us extra gold and whatnot. Should be pretty spicy. Also, another thing. I think the crystalline you know, seller guy. I think this is bugged. Because there's trinkets that we don't have, which are, you know, mysteriously not showing up. Like, for example, both of the trinkets for Rem are now gone. So, not sure what's going on with that. Witnesses say the friar seemed agitated before leaving the hamlet. He appeared to be seeking out unknown knowledge. But to what end, none could say. He could not have gone far. Find him. Yeah, pretty sure he might have discovered that he's in an entire hamlet of uh, vampires and whatnot. So we're going to have to make sure that no one knows where we live. So, let's see. I'm pretty sure he's just at the bottom. Uh, I do think... This quest is pre-generated. I'm not 100% sure on that, though. Regardless, here's what we bring. The Gourmet with Diggs' head. Bananas, because, hey, little bit of a problem with eating. Choice cut, tenderize, quick snack, and taste test. We then bring Kishi the Viper with the spine plating, book of intuition, venomist, because we're going to be coming up on a lot of skelly boys. Sweeping Slash, just in case we come across any bandits or the uh, the dudes that turn into bodies. Wide Shot and Slug Shot, because they're just fantastic. Vivosa, the Wildcat with the Lantern of Light and Death. Uh, and the Moon Cloak, as well as all of her abilities. And then we bring Bez, who has a very powerful set of trinkets, being the Invigorating Feathers and the blue lantern so we are guaranteed to heal for six damage and we also cure all blight and bleed and then we have a chance to to cure up to eight not including crits sounds pretty good to me sounds pretty gosh darn good to me so we're not getting a frenzy value because our torch is you know a little bit brightened but at the same time, I would prefer that we don't randomly run into, say, a Shambler without actually wanting to. But when we get to the end of the halls and stuff, it's perfectly fine to just let it go. So yeah, all we need to do is find the Mendicant Friar. So I'm just gonna <laughs> go directly downwards. Why would I bother with anything else? Also, we might have uh, popped our blood just a little bit too early, so we're technically missing out on value from the um, bloodlust, but meh. Imagine if that was a shambler. <laughs> okay, so. 
go for a little bit of a stress heal just so we start this dungeon off right. Tempting goblet, mm, yeah. Would you like a drink? Okay, that's fine. Quarrel, absolutely zero damage. Seven damage, that's all you got? You're gonna have to try a lot harder than that. <laughs> um, ooh, you know what? I kind of want to get rid of the noble. Then. Actually. Bruh, they all resisted? Okay, here I was thinking I was big braining. Apparently, not at all. Stress heal just a little bit. He's going to go for another. I will taste you and nothing will stop me. Okay, go for another coral. Ho ho! You cannot eat a snake. Get rid of you because you have an extra turn. Hey, we missed 50%. That's okay. Uh, bonk! <laughs> this little piggy man! Boom! <laughs> I gotta tell you. This team is doing plenty of damage already. Okay, you're stressing everyone out. That's fine. Go for a heal. Seven. Not bad. Oh. Okay. Kishi decides she doesn't want to do anything and immediately gets stabbed. But we still do plenty of damage, so it'll be fine. What's the worst that happens? And I say that completely expecting foreshadowing to, like, the end of the dungeon. Yeah, I... <laughs> you know, I always find it kind of funny... Just how foreshadowing, you'll say something, and not even like a full 10 minutes later, it'll just go extremely poorly for you. It's like, well, well, you know. Okay, we are taking a lot of stress. Uh, I don't really want Bez to be on stress heal duty the entire time, but considering what we've been going up against, kind of just unfortunate. I am going to go for slug shot. I've been damaged, not bad. But you just did that. Ooh, you really landed everything, huh? Oh, she's already thirsty, thank you. Okay, you landed absolutely everything again. Very unfortunate. Not the end of the world, but oh, certainly hurts. Okay, take him out. Bez should be able to heal that up, no problem. Seven more health, cure the bleed. Or cure the blight. Uh, okay. I don't know what I want Kishi to be, actually. Although, I did learn... <sighs> There's apparently some type of, like, ghoul affliction or something in the uh, pet cemetery, which I didn't know about. Would a zombie technically be considered a vampire, though? I'm not... 100% sure about that. I, I would have to think about it. God dang it. I risked it this one time. And that's why I always light the torch at least once. This is the exact reason. Not, what did I, dude, what did I just say about foreshadowing? Oh my god, I just said it. Okay. Get a Blight. We'll change back. Go for a little bit of healing. Hopefully we can get some big hits. Okay, we are opening up with quite a bit of damage though, so I'm pretty glad about that. Let's go for Slug Shot. 12 damage. Alright, we did open up pretty well. We took out like a good 30% of his health. <sighs> you know, it, it, uh. let's change back. More crits on the Shambler. Ah, oh, resisted. Okay, really unfortunate. Clap a claw. Okay, we're going to take a lot of stress. That's fine. A little bit of damage reflection. Okay. Keep going for the Shambler. We have time to ignore the spores for now. Um, this is going to do a lot of reduced damage. So this, I will go for the spore. Woo! Yeah. 
Okay, now hit the Shambler. Very good. He's at about half health. Takes a lot of Blight damage. Awesome. Stenorious Lament. Meow. Okay. Clap a claw. Ouch. Okay, now you're starting to become a problem. Now you're starting to get a little bit too much value. I'm just going to shuffle back. Venom Mist has a decent chance to land. Okay, not that it landed on either. Okay, let's go for quick snack right here, and then we can start sh uh, shuffling everybody back into place. He takes six more blight damage. Abdorious lament. Okay, he does land a double bleed. Pretty unfortunate. Clap a claw! Just about bringing Bez to no health. Okay, passive goes off. That's fine. I'm going to go for a self-heal because Bez is currently the one being targeted pretty bad. Um, let's get a repost up just in case they go for Vivosa. Although they are still going to be going for Bez. Luckily, we do land a dodge. Okay, you got to go. I do not want multiple of you stacking up. We still got to get rid of this guy. Um, let's start trying to shuffle back into place. Stranorius Lament. Okay, we get an 8 repost. Uh, I think we're going to drop the Visage again. It is going to put us in a little bit of a bad way, but at the same time, we're really losing ground here, so we just got to make do. I, oh. You know what? Just go for the Shambler. You're one of our hardest hitters. 9 damage. I think that's minimum roll. Yeah, we gotta drop the veil. Slither. Take him out. We have a lot of extra dodge, so if he goes for Bez again, it should be fine. But he is gonna go for the undulating withdrawal. Luckily, Kishi takes no damage. But she is on death's door now. Okay, one of these. Um, Venomist. Poison. Okay, very good. Uh, he is at one health. <laughs> Okay, this spore is dead. We don't have to worry about it. Okay. This will do damage, right? One damage is all we need. We rolled a zero. Kill ball. scary very frightening <sighs> do you know how upsetting it is for multiple things to go wrong after I talked about the whole foreshadowing <laughs> Uh, one more fight and we have finished the dungeon if we can at the very least finish this dungeon then i will consider that worth it issue we need to finish the dungeon the gourmet seems positive about it <sighs> 10 damage pretty good okay tiny bit of stress not enough not enough to kill us Okay, repost. Even if it's not a lot of damage, every little bit counts. You can't turn me into a vampire. I'm already a dark spawn. Okay, that's one down. One down. Heal ourselves so that we don't immediately die to a heart attack. Awesome. We have a little bit of armor pen. Eight damage isn't bad, considering it has 45% protection. That isn't great buff up our damage to potentially finish this next turn okay she did damage to herself that's fine infernal combo it's quite a bit of damage regardless okay we avoid death door for now Gotta the blow. 
Let's see, tiny bit of a stress heal, just to try and keep ourselves away from one crit death. Uh, okay. Yep, 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 yep. I like it. I like it. I still like it. Still good. Awesome. Not great. Okay. Take out person who can guard. That's fine. Oh my god. These dodges. These dodges are crazy. <clears throat> Can't dodge friendly fire. Okay. That prevents us from dying to stress. Still got a little bit more, more time on us. Wow, that shuffle actually sucks. And I'm not dropping the veil because that'll be a guaranteed death. Uh, okay, we're fine. Everything is fine. Okay. Now, all we need to do is walk down. We don't have enough food. Wait. Maybe we do. Maybe we do have enough food. I'm gonna take the bust instead of... You know what? I'm still taking the gold. Oh, no hunger check. Okay. Awesome. Great. And despite what you might be thinking, this is not a boss. It's just the friar. The friar seem, seem shaken, but otherwise unharmed. Hi, come back to the hamlet. Whew. Okay, so that uh could have gone a little bit more smoothly, but we did get 31k gold, 30 crests, 15 busts, 3 deeds. Unfortunately, we did lose Kishi. Uh, Sunward Tactician, Tracked, Winded, and Skittish. Oh. The Fool's Cross. Their significance emphasized the friar sweetened the deal by offering his direct assistant in purging the hamlet of evil, should the artifacts be recovered. Okay, so both Kishi and Scratchy are, uh, temporarily out of commission, so to speak. But it's nothing that we cannot fix. This is totally fixable. <laughs> oh boy, yeah, um... So it's going to be a hot minute until we go get the uh, Mendicant's Relics. Which is fine, to be fair. But, uh, yeah, not fantastic. If we can avoid losing people, that'd be great. Well, overall, still not too bad. Betsy, Vivosa, Retro, Scratchy, and Kishi. I mean, all in all, we don't have too many deaths. Um, and then, of course, we did also lose the hood, although she was revived. So, we're not doing bad. <laughs> the uh, the jump of weeks in between deaths is pretty solid. <sighs> but regardless, I think we're going to keep this episode a little bit short because I do intend to do a lot of farming. And, you know, I'm pretty sure you guys are getting a little bit sick of all the farming. So, <laughs> so I'm going to... Uh, do that just keep all the uh boring stuff out and keep all the cool stuff you know the usual but regardless of that thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed this episode and all of the foreshadowing that i unknowingly cast upon myself <sighs> we did still get a lot of progress in this episode um we got the dungeon guardian we set up the bank we rescued the fool, and we got a fair few levels. Unfortunately, we did lose someone, but we also got some dark spawn. So to show off um, everyone who is everything, the Veiled is a Crimson Cursed. Vivosa is a Crimson Cursed. Caius, of course, leader of the Dark Brood. That is to be expected. The Gourmet is a dark spawn. I want to make Tempest a dark spawn as soon as we have the opportunity to bring Tempest out once again, probably to a level 3 mission. Betsy only has Wasting Sickness. <laughs> Definitely got baited there a little bit, because I could have sworn I made him a dark spawn. Or, you know what? I tried and it failed. Old Glory is a dark spawn. The Hunter is a dark brood because he cannot become Crimson Cursed. 
Lunistra, the Duchess, and the Hive are all Crimson Cursed. The Hood, hey, I still think she fits as a Darkspawn. Maybe that's just me. Miscreant, Art Knight, and the Disciple are all Crimson Cursed. And that's pretty much it for as far as the diseases go. So we are starting to spread pretty good. Um, now that we're actually getting our chalices and getting enough blood to somewhat keep ourselves alive with this many Crimson Cursed, it's going pretty well. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.